Hi friends, in this video we will be seeing about the shift registers. So very log model. Now we are doing shift registers, so it is SR. So shift registers, so we require A as bus as we will we are doing four bit shift register. So it is output shifted values we will be getting. So nothing but it is and next thing we'll be getting is clock depending upon the clock we'll be having our shift so that's all we require it that's the thing we require it here now just we are de we have to declare now outputs as registers. So let us declare output as register with job three down to zero of B. Yeah, we register. So now initial begin. In beginning, what I am doing is input is equals to output and now always at the rate of pause edge always at the rate of pause edge of clock clock what i need is shift i want so nothing but we should be shifted by once so now we should be shifted by once so always you have to let be begin and you have to end this begin just save it now this is a serial order let's check the syntax so now simulate the model give the input values as you like with using force constant I am giving it one day double zero one just apply that and next give the force clock as one zero and time period as hundred just stimulate it you will be getting some values so we we got all zeros so let us see why we got all zeros so first of all zoom out this just zoom in lightly and if you take this and you can see, able to see here some values just I am zooming it down just change the value right shift and left shift if to us this, this, this is the symbol for right shift and left shift so you can write assign to it and just to save it and now you simulate it these symbols are nothing but right shift and left shift you can have both the symbols if you want right shift then right shift symbol if you want left shift then you can have your left shift signal so just again you type the force constant as 1011 just apply those values next not just give the force constant as clock so it will be better for you to check it down right now so just have run it now let us see why how we got these all zeros. So let's zoom out in up. Zoom out in I am and I have got this value. Let's zoom in. So here you can see the one is gone in first clock and this one is gone in second clock. 
so first this one is gone next this zero is gone in second block and next this one is gone and then you have seen everything has been gone so you can see it here clearly you will be getting all zeros line by line you can able to see here see at first it was what we have given was one zero one one so first bit it has been gone in the first clock sorry so we have to see the clock see this is your first clock let us check it this was your zero next in the second clock this has become zero and your third clock this has become your zero and at the fourth you will be getting this as your zero so similarly we have got the shift values shifted values it has been shifted the last bits last bits we have got the zero this is how the shift register works